So it happened when I was at main event bowling this past week. We got back yesterday. It's New Year's Eve now. So I just wanted to share this with you that my ball got stolen. I did retrieve it at the end, but it still got stolen. So this the ball that got stolen is my tyrant got st my tyrant is the ball that got stolen. Here's what happened. So uh, I forget what day it was. I think it was the second end of the second day. It was the end of the second day of main event. I think it was after the first day of actual tournament. And then um, I went to go put all my balls away, and then we noticed one of my balls was missing. And we, we couldn't figure out which one it was. I was thinking and thinking. I even walked around the whole bowling South Point Plaza looking and trying to think of what ball I was missing. And then we realized it was the tyrant. But then I wasn't. I was confused because I didn't use the tyrant. I have. I haven't. Even, I didn't even take it out of my bag the entire tournament. I didn't even consider using this on that pattern, and it was just gone for some reason. We we're really confused. So we told Jeff, the guy that runs the JBT, and he went on the microphone and all the speakers in the whole bowling alley and said, "We're missing a tyrant solid. It had black inserts, but I'll get to that it, with black inserts and." Um, he he said it was kind of the end of the day, so we, I, I didn't think it would turn up because uh, it was the end of the day and a lot of people were leaving. So he still said it anyway. And we came back the next day, and uh, Jeff he didn't receive a tyrant or anything like that. He didn't hear about it, and we didn't we still didn't know where it was. And then I checked in, got my lane for the day, and then um, putting all my stuff on the lane, I looked over to the pair to the left of me, and I saw the tyrant. The first, it was the first ball on the left side of the ball return, and I saw it like this. I saw this part of the ball, and I know it's my ball because of this. It's like black and then a white stripe, a yellow stripe right here, and I thought, that's my ball. And then like, then I thought, that that's my ball. I know that's my ball. I know that I'm 100% sure because I know that's mine from this like that. And then I saw, I looked at all the people on the lane, like bowling on that pair, and I saw this guy. I'm not gonna tell you his name. I don't want to expose him, but his name is. We'll just we'll just give him a fake name, just so I could say it. his fake name is. Uh, his his fake name is going to be Ralph. So I saw Ralph on the lane, and I he looked familiar because the day before, before I even knew he was missing, I saw him using. I saw him using a tyrant. So I saw him using it, and I just I just thought a tyrant. That's a tyrant because I know the ball, and I had no idea it was mine. So I was thinking like could that possibly be mine because he was using a tyrant and that stripe right there looks exactly like my ball. So we waited for him to get up and leave the pair of lanes before I went and uh, investigated. So I, as soon as he left I walked down there and my friend Clifford and Riley were behind me because I told them about it because my ball, I thought that was my ball. And then they told me to go see and as soon as I picked it up and I went like this, I knew 100% sure it was my ball. But, hold on. So he he replaced my black inserts that I had in the ball with these. So he replaced them with his his own finger inserts. But it, I still knew it was mine because the span. I even knew the layout of the ball, and I knew for sure. So I went and told my mom, and then she kind of like was surprised that he was using your ball. He stole it, and then, uh. He didn't, the guy, Ralph, didn't come back to the pair of lanes until practice started. And then when he was bowling practice, when practice was over, he left the pair of lanes again. And I went over there and I grabbed the ball and I took it to my dad because I have a picture. So I, I grabbed the ball from the ball rack. He wasn't using it. He put it on the ball rack that was next to the pair of lanes. And then I went over there and I grabbed it. I took it and I took it to my dad and he compared the tyrant which was mine to a picture I had of the tyrant so this is a picture of the tyrant the day I got it in Cleveland in junior gold and he compared he compared the ball swirls from like the picture the swirls to this one and they are exactly the same so once we knew 100% sure it was my ball we confronted him or my dad did asked him over and say where did you get the ball and he said he, I'm not sure what pro shop he said, but he said, I got it from this pro shop. It's mine. I got it. And then my dad was like, you sure? Or something like that. And he says, do you have the box? And he's like, yeah, I have the box. And then my dad's like, here? And he said, no. 
And then it was my turn to bowl, so I don't really know what happened after that, but I, when I was done bowling, I turned around, my dad picked up the ball, and he left. I'm guessing to tell Jeff, the one who runs the tournament, to tell him that we found the ball, and then someone stole it and was using it. And then I guess he put it away, and then he padlocked the bag. This, he stole my tyrant. First, he stole my tyrant, and then he used it thinking that the person he stole it from wouldn't recognize the ball, which is kind of dumb. So he stole the ball, he used it, and then we found it. We're thinking, um, we're thinking he stole the ball, replaced the inserts, and he was gonna use it until the, the, cause the pattern it made event was pretty hard. So I'm, we think he used it, he stole it, he used it, and then when he was done with it, he was gonna abandon the ball cause he didn't have any use for it anymore. But we don't know because we caught him. So yeah, it got stolen, it was missing, found out it was stolen, and got it back, so that's good. So, I'm gonna tell you guys this now. Get all your bowling balls, and take a picture of the serial number that is, man, the white balance is all off. So take a picture of the serial number that is on the ball, because you can't deny a serial number. If someone steals your ball, you could look at the serial number, compare it, and if it's exact, it's your ball. They can't deny that, because every serial number is different. Luckily, I had a picture of it so we could compare the swirls on the ball, but if I didn't have that picture, there would have been really no way, no evidence to show that he stole the ball. So he put his inserts in, and then I was going to use it for a doubles, because doubles, the doubles pattern was like an easy modified house shot, so I wanted to use this because I really like this on house or medium, so I put white inserts in. We have no idea what he did with the black inserts that were in there. So, uh... That was the story of the first time I got my ball stolen at a tournament, but hopefully it never happens again. My dad's going to take a ball, of, take a picture of all my bowling ball serial numbers, so we'll know for sure if this ever happens again. But hopefully, if your ball ever gets stolen, hopefully you recover it. I was lucky enough to get it back because he was dumb enough to use it in the same tournament I was bowling in. But to you, Ralph, that stole my ball and used it in the tournament, if you're watching this, can I have my inserts back? I really like those inserts, they were pretty expensive.